Most fans know me for my work on the football field. But a lot of people don't realize that I'm into art. The first thing that comes off their tongue, wow, I can't believe it. Really, Vernon, you're into art? Yes, I am into art. Here I am, a football player, but I'm an artist at the same time. Acrylic on canvas, and that's just my medium. I have a degree in art, I have an art gallery back in California. But now that I'm in Denver, I'm gonna take some time to explore the local art scene. I can't wait to meet with Adam Lerner. He's the director for the Museum of Contemporary Art here in Denver. Hey, Adam! Vernon. Hey, man. It's great to meet Good you. Good to see you. Yeah. I'm so excited about this, man. Oh, well, thank you. We're so thrilled to have you in Denver, really. So what's the art scene like in Denver? I mean, I just moved here from San Francisco. I've only been here for a month. You know, I actually feel really proud of the art scene in Denver. It's a really vibrant scene. A little bit like the heart that we have in front of our building, pumping creative blood into the city. So let's go to the second floor gallery. Some extraordinary paintings okay. up there. Let's, let's do it. See. I love art. It takes you places that you'll never imagine. Sometimes I could be having a bad day, but if I'm sitting in front of a canvas, I'm just focused. My mind's nice and relaxed. It's kind of like doing yoga. We change our exhibitions about every three months, but we have a very, very special okay. one going on right now okay. by the artist Marilyn Minter. When you walk in and you see uh, Marilyn's pieces, I would have to say it's intense. I was just like, wow, this is incredible. This is amazing. It seems like when she paints, there's a lot going on, but when you look at it, when you step back and look at the overall painting, it's perfect. Yeah. It just flows together. One thing that she does in all of her work is focused on these very minute details of the human body. I noticed that, yeah. So that's actually, if you can kind of make out the... Oh, let me change see. angles real quick, Adam. I like to, I'm sorry, whenever I'm looking at paintings, I like to change angles. Okay, now I can see it. I can see it. I can't see it from there, but I can see it from here. Adam, come look at it from this angle. Look at this. It changes, right? Yeah, well, I... Even step right here in this spot right here. <laughs> look. Look at that. You really do see the painting differently. Yeah. I really appreciate the creativity that you put to looking at art. Not many people will do that. Vernon is a real art lover. It's probably the fact that he has to always be very attentive in his daily practice as a football player to the visual field in front of him that makes him so good at, at looking at paintings. Wow, I didn't know you guys had this in here. Yes. Come down here, Adam, come on. <laughs> It's totally abstract here. It looks almost like a sea of gold. This is actually redefining my perspective. You have no idea what's going on in my mind right now. Yeah, like, I can tell you're really into this. Yes! <laughs> I'm going to go home and I'm going to dream of this. <laughs> I've been a curator for over 15 years and I have never had a visitor ask me to sit on the floor with them to look at a work of art. That was amazing. Did she dance? Really? Did you dance? <laughs> Everything was just right with him. We connected. It feels as if um, we've known each other for years. Adam, I really appreciate everything you did for me today. Right now, I'm really inspired to get out in Denver. It's been my pleasure, so thank you. Thank you, Adam. There's so many things that I learned today that I can take home with me from this gallery and I can incorporate it into some of my work. I'm really excited to be able to explore Denver, from restaurants to museums, the city in general, and just see what the art scene has to offer. I can't wait.